Hello there, fellows, and welcome back to another episode of Tigers RC in Minecraft. No, this isn't Minecraft, this is Cube World. Close enough. Alright, this time we're gonna try out our hang glider quite a bit more. As well, probably fly it off of the top of there, that looks really cool. As well as fighting this guy. Which, this looks dangerous. But I think we're gonna just head right in. Check it out. This guy's gonna follow me down the hill to a nice flat area right here. That was scary. Wow, this guy is a lot scarier than I thought. Quit doing that. That's really loud. Wow. You're gonna tear this entire area up, aren't you? Wow. Come on. Alright. We've got a nice new potion. Wow, this guy is really, really ripping on the ground. Come on. Wow, you, you just you just plowed a hole in the side of the mountain. Okay. I'm gonna actually try something. I've heard of a glitch. This is probably kinda a derpy thing to do, but... No, I, I don't think it works. There's a glitch where if your weapon like instantly deals damage, because when you left click and when you hit G for your hang glider, as well as left clicking, you can see it goes back and forth. Um, you'll deal a ton of damage really quick. Stop yelling. I'm not done yet. But uh, it doesn't look like it works with my weapon. Oh well. Don't want to really be glitching either. Are you done tearing up the terrain? This guy's really scary when he does that. And it looks like we've only dealt a little bit of damage to him. It's gonna take a while. But we'll do it. Looks like he's going down at a pretty steady pace. Where'd you go? Oh. I think because he's so big, and we're on rough terrain like this, it acts really, really kind of weird with where he is. Like, right then you saw it, it looks like he's flying, and all sorts of stuff. Actually, if I get on here, he might not be able to attack me. Yep. We've got a spinning dinosaur. Spinning dinosaur for the win. Now, can you attack me? Yeah, I think you can. I'm gonna quick heal up. Doesn't look like you're dealing a lot of damage. Quit doing that, that's really loud. In Cube World, you'll find these guys occasionally. They're always a boss, and they're just kind of a random... You, they're just kind of a random find boss, kind of like this guy was just randomly on a mountain. He doesn't have a dungeon. But, whenever you find one, he spawns in randomly with his own specific head, body, and like tail and feet. So whenever you find one, they look a little bit different. Although, wow, look at the havoc this guy's doing to the ground over here. And to these trees. Okay. 
so yeah, this is probably going to take a little bit yet, but we'll still have plenty of time to not only do this, but also hang glide around for a little bit. Quit it. That's loud. Oh, he aggroed the turtle. Why did you attack the turtle? Oh, the turtle's attacking the Saurian. That's funny. The Saurian gets attacked by the turtle. I want to tame that turtle now. Turtles are honestly probably the best pet in Cube World right now because they are extremely tanky, kind of like me. They can do a spin attack, which is really, really good. It'll make them um, aggro a lot of enemies because they're attacking everybody around them. And they attack quite quickly. And, um, yeah. So basically, they've got double the life of all of the other pets. Can have up to double the attack speed. Even though they are a turtle. But I'm gonna have to deal with that guy now. But, um... Yeah. They they are ridiculously good. Um, it's just you, you have to find the thing to tame them, which, in this instance, it's a cinnamon roll. And so that's, that's kind of annoying. It takes a while. But yeah, they're really, really good. Quit yelling. I'm just trying to tear you to pieces. It's not that... It's not that uncommon. Come on. I'm gonna bring you back down on the flat ground so that I can see you. Not go near the lemon beetles. But, come on. You're at one sliver of HP. We can take you. Right, George? George says right. We're going back on there. This is it. Come on. Come on, so close. Yes! What did he drop? Gold bracelet. Um, nothing I can use, except now I have 15 platinum coins. And that's nice. What's this? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I've got a lot of loot. We're going to have to go to a town sometime. But, yeah. We got a lot of experience from that. Wow. Oh yeah, that was fun. Let's go in this cave and do some hang gliding. Not in the cave, but we'll go through the cave and do some hang gliding on the other side. Nice moody cave. I've probably been in here. Looks familiar. Yep, I found some gold. Ooh, iron. Found some gold in here before, but there's iron in here. So, didn't find that. Good thing we went in the cave. Down to the base of the mountain. Looks like there's another cave here. And I'm not going to be able to get through that unless I use my one bomb. So, I'm going to use that and get out of here. Come on. Okay, that didn't work. Oh well, can't get through. But what we can do is head up there. I've been here before. I'm going to head up there to that thing all the way over there. Yep. And we're going to do some hang gliding.
let's do this. Scottish Terrier, I'm level 6 now. You're a white enemy. Don't even need to bother. Wolf, I'm gonna worry about. But Scottish Terrier, nah. We're almost at the same height level as the clouds. I could probably fly through some of those. Heart flowers all the way up on the top of the mountain. Exotic. Huh. Alrighty, let's do this. All the way over there. That's where we're going. We're going to land on that tree. Right there. See it? That's where we're going to land. And then we're going to climb another mountain. That's cool. Bark beetles, they're so small. Okay. You gotta admit, that was really fun. We came from all the way over there. Yeah, that's awesome. Of course, we're going the wrong way. We're gonna actually head for that continent, so let's go back. Yay! We get to climb that mountain again. I'm going to see if I can't head right there. When you hit spacebar, it makes you travel straight, and um, so you'll stop going down for a little bit. So it's nice to tap it. And that way. Oh, yeah. We got this. Alrighty, we're going to keep on climbing this mountain. Sorry about the pause there, although I'm going to edit it out so you guys won't even know, but somebody just came in my room so while I was recording, so had to uh, stop the recording for just a sec. Don't worry though, that's fine. Going to keep on a-going. Alright, hang gliding is honestly one of my favorite things to do in Cube World. It's so much fun. <laughs> It is so much fun. All right, let's do this. We're gonna head that way as fast as we can. As fast as we can. All right. Come on, George. Okay, George isn't here right now for some reason. He'll get here. That big rock, that's where I'm gonna land. Actually, I'll probably go a lot farther than that. Nice dense forest. I'll see if I can land on the other side. Maybe not quite. Alright, when you run out of stamina with that, it doesn't just drop you off, but you start to go out of control. So if I were to, say, hold the spacebar, like I am right now, you'll see what happens. I start spinning randomly, and yeah. George is here! Yay! But you can see, the power of the hang glider is that I came that entire way. <laughs> Ooh, pink jelly. Pink jelly, I can tame a slime. Alright, where am I? Pink slime. Alright, we're gonna keep on a going. Keep on a hang gliding. Keep on a hang gliding. So, the power of the hang glider is that you can travel a long, long distance in the air without having to fight any mobs or enemies or anything and you can just glide away. It also looks amazing. Cube World is such a beautiful game. It just really is. Radish slices, yay. Um, we're almost to the border. Hey, that looks like a dungeon. We might as well go check it out. Let's do this. Alrighty. 
Um, unfortunately, with hang gliding, you can't really do it very well unless there's a large increase in height. You can see it doesn't really work, but um, yeah. So there's a dungeon right here. I'm gonna check it out, see what type it is. That looks like the entrance over there. On the map, it's called the Ruins of Karak. If we aggro one enemy from the inside, we might be able to defeat them. Might. Although not right now. We're gonna just peek inside, see who's inside. Undead plus four. Do not want to attack them. <laughs> Do not want to attack them. The plus four thing basically means that even if they were blue or white, they could relatively easily kill me. And they are extremely dangerous. Do not attack. Do not engage this enemy at all. At all. So, let's actually do this. Nice high mountain. We're going to hang glide to that nice high mountain, and then probably hang glide over the border of these two continents. I want to see what's on the other side. Oh. Looks like it's another forest. Come on. I don't want another forest. Uh, looks like another forest. Oh well, we'll go to the town over there next time, I think. Or maybe a dungeon in between the town and where we are. Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna hang glide over the border. You can see it on the map. Looks an awful lot like where we are right now. Doesn't look that much different. We're gonna land on one of those trees though, right over the border. Maybe it's a fall forest or something. Oh no, it's not a forest. This is a jungle. Great. That's great. I always wanted one of these. Where are we? Right on the border. There's a jungle. We're gonna walk over. Lands of Tarolan. Let's look at the map. Okay. No dungeons near here. But the town is right over there. I'm sure that we'll encounter something between here and there. Unless I die on the way. <laughs> but let's just take a peek over this hill to see what the jungle looks like. Isn't that awesome? This is another reason why I really love Cube World. It looks so amazing, whatever the biome. Alrighty, I think I'm going to have to call it here. Thank you fellows so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed. We're going to keep on exploring in this world. It looks great. Um, Tiger on the Dwarf is leveling up just fine. He's got some pretty awesome abilities. And yeah, so, do, so is George. George is having a good time too. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, so long fellows.